What's going on fellow web developers? My name is Tyler Potts and in today's video I'm going to show you how to create this simple um, yet effective React.js quotes uh, generator. So actually here, generate a new quote, bam, you'll get, wow that's a big one, but you'll get a random quote each time and this quote is coming from the Anime Chan Anime Quotes API, as you can see here. It's a free openness, no authentication, you literally just type this in essentially um, and make a request to it and bam you will get the results now there's more than just this you can check out the documentation if you want to uh, you can get specific anime titles and stuff like that or you can use your own uh, api which isn't to do with anime at all it's totally up to you but for now guys we're going to build this uh quote generator um and we're going to see how it goes so without further ado guys let's get started To get started, we're just going to type npx create react app, and then we're just going to do dot. You can give it a name or whatever you want to give it. I'm going to do dot because I want it to generate in the current directory. Uh, I'm going to hit enter, and it's going to run. So I will see you once this has ran and it's installed all the scripts we need. Okay, guys, so this has now ran, and as you can see, it says happy hacking. So we're currently in the directory we need to be. So I'm just going to run code dot to open this up with Visual Studio Code. Again, you can use any text editor you want. Let's do a bit of cleanups. So inside of source, we're going to straight up delete the app.css. We're just going to use index.css because it's not a massive app. We don't need separate files for CSS. We're going to delete that. We're going to delete the logo report web vitals and setup tests we're then going to go into the index and we're going to remove the reference we're just going to remove the reference here we're then going to hit save go into our app and remove both of these inputs we're then going to go through here and delete everything in here delete that all hit save i'm just going to quickly confirm my uh indentations from that to tabs to tab four because i prefer it uh, and there you go. So that should now be good. So we now have a functional app component and we can also go in here and remove everything from in there. Um, so let's get started up with the uh, markup. So we're gonna want to basically, um, well, we're gonna wanna create a new component. It's gonna be called the quote. So let's go in here, let's create a new file. Let's pull it in a components. Uh, folder and call it quote.gel.js and bam there you go we've now got a quote.js and now I have an extension called ES7 React Redux GraphQL and React Native Snippets which allows me to run stuff such as React Functional Component Export bam and there you go we now have a already set up um, base you know base uh, Functional component. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. Uh, anyway, so in here, we're going to give the root element in here a class name and we're going to set this equal to quote. Inside of here, we're going to need three different elements. We're going to need a, a quote or an anime, sorry, because we're going to have the anime title. Um, we're going to have, let's just give this a title from the root for now. And let's give it the title equal to uh, Naruto. Uh, oh, well, sorry, Naruto. And you'll understand why we're adding a title to this later on. Uh, we're going to add a block quote. So this is where we're going to do our quote. So we're just going to put in a quote here. We'll just say, what's the Madara one? Ma Madara, Ma <laughs> Madara one. I believe this is it. Wake up to reality. Nothing ever goes as planned in this world. The longer you live, the more you realize that in this reality, only pain, suffering and futility exist. Bit dark, but you know, we'll, we'll go with it. A uh, character. So our character will be uh, Madara, Madara, Madara. I can't, you know what? It's one of those names I could hear really well. I can hear how people say it, but I just can't say it myself. 
and we'll just say that they're safe. There we go. So now that is all we need for this area. We're going to bring through some props later on, but for now, we're just going to leave this as blank. So let's just go here and back in our app. Let's close this index. We don't need that anymore. Uh, and we can also probably close the side and zoom in one. Um, at the top here, we're just going to say import. Um, and we're going to import our quote from and we're just going to dot slash components component slash quote dot j oh, if i can type j s there we go so we're just getting our quote we actually don't need the js at the end there that should pull it through automatically and now in here we should be able to say quotes just like that hit save um, and let's run our surface. So let's go to, I'm going to press control and uh, the at symbol on the keyboard or the uh, single quote. And I'm just going to clear this. And I'm just going to say npm start. I'm going to hit enter and it's going to start our development server. Open it up. And here you go. This is what it currently looks like. So it's not looking that great. Obviously, you know, it says Naruto, wake to reality, blah, 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 Madara there um but so we need to style this up so let's let's start off with the style so let's go into our index.css we can close this one now and the first thing we'll do is we're going to set up some css variables now css variables are my favorite thing in css at the minute um and we're going to set up a couple of colors it's going to be a 8 4 f f f uh, and i'm going to set the rest of the colors up and show you them in a second Okay, as you can see, I've just added a bunch of different colors here. Primary, secondary, dark, light, and gray with a few hex codes and two fonts here. We have the font for the whole site and then we're just going to have a separate font for the actual quotes. So we're going to start off with some resets. So I'm just going to set everything to have a margin of zero, a padding of zero, a box, a sizing of border box, and also a font family of far and then we're going to use hyphen hyphen font so that's going to give everything the font from our root here i'm then going to set up the actual uh, body so we're just going to say body and it's just going to have a background color of uh light there we go so that should now be set and then let's get our app so our app is going to have the display of flex because we want to move everything to the center. We're then going to give it a flex direction of column because we're going to have a button as well, which we need them to sit underneath each other. We're then going to align item center and also justify the content center. Um, and then we're going to give it a min height of 100 viewport height. Now, this is just so everything sits perfectly in the center and not dependent on the height at all. Um, we're then going to set our quote. And we're just going to give it a position of relative. We're then going to give our, we're going to set up our anime character and our block quote in a second. So we're going to say anime. And this is going to be display inline block. We're also going to set this for the character as well. So it says inline block. We're going to give them both a padding of around uh, 0.75 rem and 1.5 rem on the top and bottom we're then going to give it a background color of uh, far secondary we're then going to give them a color of light again using the variables we set up earlier just so we can pull them through and if we ever want to change these colors we can just go up here and change them super simply and it'll change it throughout so we don't have to worry about changing 101 different colors uh, so in our color we've got our border radius which will be about 1.5 rem matching the height or, or the second parameter in our padding um, we're then going to set a transform and this is actually going to be for, actually, no, we need to do this on specific ones. We actually need to do the background color on a specific one as well. We need to do that just for anime. Um, we're going to give them a font weight of about 700. Um, a font size of about 1.4 rem. And let's give it a letter spacing of one pixel. So these are all just picky things you can actually name it whatever you want we're now going to set the max width of these to be about 360 pixels um, we're going to set its overflow to be hidden we're then going to set its text overflow to be ellipsis 
And finally, we're just going to set the white space to no wrap. Now, what this is going to do, it's going to stop the uh, tile from wrapping. And if it goes too long or too wide, it will uh, cut it off and just show some ellipses. So three dots. And this way, and that's why we added the title. So when we actually hover over it, if the name is too long, it will still give us the full title by hovering over it, which I think is nice. So there we go. That's for those. We now need to just set the animes background color to be secondary and its font weight to be 700 i've just realized i've done that there um or sorry that one just be 400 we're then going to get our character and our character's background color is going to be prime or background color it's going to be primary uh cancel i don't want to delete anything um and then the font weight will be 700 there we go and then we need to set our specific transform so for our anime we're gonna have a transform of minus 25 percent transform translate minus 25 percent and minus or no sorry not minus just 50 percent we're then going to do something different for the actual character we're going to set his to transform translates and we're going to say this is 25% and 50%. We're also going to set his to position absolute because we want to basically move him from the uh, right. We want to set his right position to zero and his bottom position to zero. So it sticks in the bottom right corner instead of at the top there. And that should be good, I think, for this. Now let's go have a look what this looks like in our browser. You can see it's kind of sat there, but the actual block quote does not work at all. So they're, they're styled. We just need to actually go through and set the block character up. So let's quickly, uh, above both of these, we're just going to say block quote. And we're going to style this. We're going to say font family. First off, we're going to give it the font quote. We're then going to say its max width is about 720 pixels, about double the uh, max width of the anime characters, main or uh, max width. We're then going to give it a font size of 2 rem. We're going to give it a background color of dark because we want it to be different to the background. Uh, let's give it some padding of around 3 rem. And then we'll also just say border radius is about 1.5 rem. Oh, and don't forget to set the text color to a white. Save that. Tab back in here. And as you can see, the styling now fits perfectly. Let me show you what happens if we extend the name. So this could be Naruto Shippuden uh, The Last Ninja, something like that. And as you can see, it now does the dot at the end. Um, and if we copy the same name and we put that in here, we could then refresh. And if we hover over this now, you'll see we get the full name there. So it still works. That's just the reason why we do the title there. Um, just so if you need to cut this off, people can still get the full name. So there you go. So I think that's looking pretty good. We now need to actually come up with the functionality and actually add in the button. So let's go back to our app. And first off, let's add the button into the page. So what we're going to do is under here, we're just going to say button. And we're literally just going to put in here a uh, generate new quote. Something like that. And now in our index.css, let's go to the bottom. Let's just say button uh, appearance. We're going to set to none border. No, not border radius, just the border. We're going to set to none and the outline set it to none. Uh, we'll go for our background color and sell it to... Uh, let's set to our primary color to start with. We'll then give it a color of white. Um, that's not how you work. Um, we'll give it a border radius of around 3 rem. Because we're going to make it quite big. So we're going to give it a padding of around... Uh, 0 0.75 rem and actually 1.5 rem there. This way it will be rounded on the edges but still nice and wide on the side. We'll give it a margin top of about 64 pixels. 
Um, and then Marge and Balm off about the same. And then let's give it a transition of 0 0.4 seconds and a cursor of pointer. And then let's say button, huffer, and let's say its background color is going to change to cell. That should be secondary. So now if we swap and we refresh, you can see we've got a button down here. It looks pretty good. It's a bit small. It's mainly the font size. So we're going to say font size should be around uh, 1.5 RAM. Make it a bit bigger. There you go. That's looking a lot better. And also let's give it a font weight of bold. Font weight of 700. And there you go. That's looking great. So this is now fully done. We now need to add the functionality to this button and also pull our quotes from the api so within side we don't need a css anymore that's all done so let's just close that and now within here we above the um quote we're just gonna say import react and we we'll need use state and use effect two hooks from react um if i can actually write from react and then inside of our um app here we're just gonna say const and we're gonna say quote and set quote is equal to use state of a empty object which we could just set here anime is null um we're gonna have we're gonna return a character which is also null and finally we're gonna have a quote which will be null just like that hit save we can then go down here and say const fetch quote so this is where we're actually going to get our quotes so we're going to say async and we're going to just pass through an arrow function um and the reason we're doing async is because we're using a fetch request so we're going to be uh waiting for the response the promise to be fulfilled so we're going to say fetch and then we're going to go get the um the actual thing from anime chan dot dot app so this link up here if we scroll down, you can see this is what we need. So we actually just need this two. We don't need that third one because we're actually going to be returning the promise. And if you see here, if we run this, you can see this is what we get. We get an anime, a character, and a quote. So let's copy this. Let's go back here. And we're going to say run fetch. And let's just paste this here. And you can see we get the response.json. And we're just going to return that. So anything we, when we return this, is going to go to another function. So this is going to fetch our quote for us. We now need to you do something called use. Oh, we're going to say use effect. And what we're going to do is we're going to say this is an asynchronous request. Async. It's going to be an arrow function. And then we're going to pass through an empty pair of brackets so this only called once when the app is uh when the component mounts so we're going to say use effect async and we're going to set our quote to be equal to an await fetch quote method so what this is going to do is we're going to as soon as we load the page we're going to go grab our quote from our state or no we're going to go fetch a quote so we're going to fetch our quote from this uh endpoint here which is going to return it to us. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set our quote, which is anime character and quote, to the result of this, which is going to basically give us our quote. Now, what we need to do is we actually need to pass through our quote into our component here. So we're going to say pass through quote, just like that. And now in our quote, at the top here, we need to uh, get our quote. So we're going to use the uh, curly braces and then pass through quote. So we don't have to write props dot. And then we're going to swap out everything here for quote dot and this one's going to be quote dot anime copy that and we can pass that through here too and then this one will be quote dot quote i know a bit confusing but it makes sense quote dot quote and the last one for this one will be quote dot character and then we can copy that and replace that there. Let's just break this down so it looks a bit neater. Same with this one. Just want it to look neat. There we go. So that looks a bit more neater. So we've just got a quote anime, our quotes quote, and our quote character. So these are going to pass through. Now, if we go back here, just double check everything's right. So this is going to get our quote. So let's go back here, go back to our app, and let's refresh. And there you go. We get Baka to Todd. 
back at the test to Shokanju. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if that was correct, but you know, don't don't judge me too much. Who'll give up when it comes to such a mere setback? We haven't lost yet. We'll kneel on the floor and regret only after all possibilities are exhausted. Yoshi Akihisa. And there you go. But one thing we can't do is we can't generate a new quote. We can't click this to generate a quote, which, you know... It's kind of an issue so let's create a new function we'll call it const and we're going to say generate it's going to be equal to another asynchronous arrow function but in here we're just going to set quote we're going to do the exact same as what we do in our use effect we're just going to set a quote and wait for the response and then on our button we're going to give it an on click event listener called generate um just like that and that should basically be the complete application so let's go back here you can see we get a different one so now let's try and generate a new one and there you go it changes now you only get a hundred per hour a hundred requests per hour so it says it somewhere here so if i over click this it's gonna give us an error and we won't be able to use it anymore so if you do go over your um i can't remember where it says that but ah here you go default rate limit is 100 requests per hour um so yeah endpoints 10 so yeah you can only get 100 requests per hour and i don't know if you can improve that by paying or anything like that um but i haven't actually looked into it so maybe you can but anyway so we could just keep going until we get loads of different ones and this will basically be what we get um and yeah loads of different um requests and that is it that's how you do it inside of react so that was quite a basic starter tutorial for this i hope that it taught you a lot of different things i hope it taught you how to use use state use effect and also anything you didn't know before setting up new components and anything like that guys thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed it don't forget to leave a thumbs up smash that subscribe button and i will see you in the next one peace out